Drusco Mackie. Whoa, have a look at that T-Rex. We now have a look at every single one of the Jurassic World Mackers toys. First one up here is T-Rex, you can see she's playing with it. And you know, it's a little bit of a cheesy ad. You know, she does a roar and then Rexy appears and it's the Camp Cretaceous Chaos Theory model. So that's really cool. But yeah, here's the Rex toy. They don't seem to have many features. I think maybe the head moves up and down possibly, but you've also got Bumpy here you've got a range of them there's a lot that we haven't seen we have seen bumpy already we saw it in this image so you get the bumpy box you get the card of bumpy with its stats and then you get a picture of the actual toy i don't know why considering you get the actual toy but it's still cool and then you get the actual bumpy so that is all really awesome i can't really maybe the feature is it can swing its tail it looks like there's a joint at the end to swing the tail maybe but i don't think it's going to be that major but allosaurus you can see its neck moves too so maybe you just pull its tail and it moves its head up and down but as we can see allosaurus that was its card and its picture and then the toy of it so you know it's nothing too it's like it's it's cool um but yeah, it's interesting because we, we can't see the box of Allosaurus yet, but uh, yeah, it's why are we getting a picture with it? I don't know, to be honest, but this one I'm mostly looking forward to. They are making one for the Beckles Spinax. How interesting is that? Now we know Pachyrinosaurus was going to get one, right? But Beckles Spinax, it was just like, what the heck? I was not expecting that because it's such an obscure species why would mcdonald's make that you know they really just stick to the movie ones like if you go back to the camp cretaceous line they just did creatures from the movies they didn't do anything crazy like monolophosaurus or rhinosaurus but hey here we go here's an atrosraptor 2 this one pretty cool i mean you can't really tell who it's meant to be i guess tiger maybe it's it could be a velociraptor or an atrosraptor i assume atrosraptor though we'll have to wait and see for the boxes but you know it's going to be interesting to see some renders because I don't think we've seen renders for everything, you know? Like, what will the render for Beckle Spinax be on the cards? I do believe we've seen Pachyrhinosaurus's one. That should be coming up. So, let's go take a look at Pachyrhinosaurus right now. As you can see, we got more looks at it from the trailers. And I'll show the image of every single Chaos Theory uh, McDonald's figure at the end of the video. So, stay tuned. But yes, Pachyrhinosaurus. As we can see, it does have its own render. So, you know, Beckle Spinax, I assume we should be getting one for the Beckle Spinax. That'll be very cool. I'm pretty sure that's the only new kind of species though. So everything else will be repeat renders we've seen. Stygimolic, maybe we could get a new render for it, but I mean, does anyone really care too much? I think the highlight here is actually the toy because the toy looks very unique. In a way, we, you know, Stiggy is often mostly brown or the greenish color, but this one, it's more of a devil's kind of color, really leaning into the Styx River Demon, am I right? But yeah, it's got the black on top and the red underneath, so it's it just looks really awesome, honestly. But then we have Nazuriceratops. This one was already revealed, but of course we do have new looks at it. And it does appear that most of the original renders of the toys we saw ages ago seem to be kind of the final model and i guess that's kind of you know what maccas would do because their toys are really cheap they're like two buck toys so you know for what we're getting it's pretty cool and they're definitely upgrades from the camp cretaceous line because they were just mini little baby looking things but these ones they're full adults and here is another new one the stegosaurus and it's got striping as well so at least they're adding paint to it i guess they've got a vary them in some sort of way you know they can't just have the one paint scheme because everything so far has had a little bit of different paint so it's got the black eye the black stripes but besides that the full green body there's no underbelly there's no beige underbelly or anything the plates aren't painted in so it's as basic as they can get um i guess you know going down to just two paints but para is kind of decent it does actually have an underbelly that beige one with the green and the black crest with the black eye there. So that is really cool to see. And which one has been your favorite so far? Are you looking to get a hold of them? And yeah, there's its box, its renders and stuff. I'm surprised they didn't do like the Parallux, I guess maybe normal Parasaur Lophus was just cheaper to do instead of a bioluminescent one. But yeah, as the 
thing says all McDonald's images can be found through link in the pinned comments. So go to the comments if you want to see every single image because it's up on my Discord page. Um, and yeah, or just check the description. The Discord link should be there. But Demorphedon is pretty cool. And it, they kind of seem to be a bit different um, in those two pictures, which is interesting. I don't know if they will change up their textures at each McDonald's. You know, maybe some have different paint schemes and whatnot. I doubt it, but you know, Mattel has been doing that with uh, different ones, but that turn on, you can see, doesn't really have a painted eye, but then this picture of it, you can see very clearly has that yellow or white eye. So I don't know, maybe there will be variants throughout McDonald's and we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess, if people end up with different ones, like how, you know, there was the white Triceratops and green Triceratops, but they were meant to be the same from Mattel. Also the Mapu source that had the beige underbelly and then the kind of orange one. But this here is another one moving on from Tyranon. Tiny little T-Rex. It's very interesting. It reminds me of the Snap Score ones, but yes, this is a Macca's toy. So I guess you move the tail, head moves up, but you can get this from the Universal Studios Japan McDonald's. So I really doubt you're probably from Japan right now, but I don't know, maybe you can order it online from eBay or something. I'm just saying like, considering I'm an English speaking channel, I don't think many people from Japan have stuck around this long. Maybe you have because it, you know, the McDonald's toys are cool. So yeah, there's also a collector's cup with Triceratops, T-Rex, Brachiosaurus on it. And this is kind of the universal cup. So it also has like Shrek and the minions on it, which is pretty cool. So you can see the Shrek one on the left. And then as we zoom out, there's meant to be six collector's cups. So you can, I don't know, there's, this is every angle of them basically. But yeah, here is, you know, the looks of every single dinosaur together from the Macca's ad. So it's just, this was just so cool to see and credit to Rexar because they were like, proceed, proceed, check this out. And I looked at the video and it barely had any views. It had like 70, I think another one had 140 views. And this was the other one. So, you know, normally Macca's ads, they go crazy. So I'm kind of surprised most of the fandom hasn't caught a hold of it yet. But hey, hopefully, you know, can spread some views to it through this video. But yeah, that Beckle Spikes, very much looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, then I just made the thumbnail out of it. And here's like every creature. So what I'm definitely looking forward to the most is Beckle Spikes. I don't think it'll come to my country, but might want to find a way to get a hold of that Beckle Spikes. I don't know, but it, it, does Allosaurus look like Indominus Rex anyone else? Anyway, make sure to check out up here and I'll see you later. Bye everyone.